Hey, what's going on guys? I'm on Clear Lake today in Riding Mountain National Park with Blake Morgan. There he is right there. Hey guys. I will put his information, his Instagram information in the description below. But anyways, today we are chasing whitefish. Fish I've never actually targeted and caught. So fingers crossed we get some, but we're late. So let's get drilling. Still there. There's a couple of them. One's chasing me right up. Fish on. Alright. Here we go. There we go. First white fish of the day. <laughs> That's like a 20 inch or two. Ah, I'd go 18. 18. Yeah. Yeah. Beauty. Pull this guy up for the camera. There we go. There we go. Sweet. Now let's get another one. My turn. All right, Blake caught a fish before I could even get set up, which is typical. Don't ever get into YouTube because it takes forever to set up. Um, he's actually taking the sled back to the truck to grab something from missed or forgot. Uh, oh, right here. Come on. Shoot, my line is frozen. He gone. Um, so yeah, I got the AquaView uh, set up here with the recording device. Uh, just to protect the ice thickness here. So surprisingly thick actually with the warm weather we've had. So yeah about eight and a half, nine inches, plenty for a snowmobile. Good clear ice too. Um, if you guys are at all interested in learning, I know people have questions about how to record with an AquaView. There's another white fish right there. Um, I'll put a link in the description to a really good video by Clayton Schick where he explains how to do the whole recording with an uh, with an AquaView. That's actually where I learned how to do mine. So, if that's something you want to learn, link in description. Between Blake fishing on the live scope, me fishing with the underwater camera, and I got my Helix here as well. Hopefully, we can get some good footage for you guys. I'm pumped for this. Looks like that's a little perch or something hanging around my hook. That's kind of cool. I wonder if there's any big ones in the lake. There must be a few. Come on. Fish on. Oh, that's a nice one too. Sweet. Cool. I don't know how good that was on camera, but. Squirrely little buggers. All right, there's my first whitefish legit caught, not snagged accidentally. 
Put it right back. You're free. You're free. Who wants to hang around? There we go. Awesome. Well, one that just chased me. Sweet. So all I did, I had a small tungsten jig with a crappie plastic on. I switched to a PK flutter spoon and that thing was aggressive. Aggressive. Wait. Oh, I missed it. And that thing came right in. Big white. Yeah, got another one. Oh, I see the like this PK. Yeah, they like that PK. Oh, watch the deucer, watch the deucer. Shoot those wraps. Shucks. Oh, that's a nice one, too. Sorry. Oof, it came off. That was a nice oh. snag. <laughs> I didn't even know it was off. I saw it was coming up. <laughs> Bear Potter. Beauty. There we go, another, that's gotta be close to 20 inches. Beautiful fish. There it goes. Man, I don't know how many times I have been to this lake in my life, but I've never fished it. Hmm. I've never even been on it. Like, when I was a kid, we lived, you know, just on the east side of the park. So, like, every Sunday evening or afternoon, in the summertime, or almost every Sunday afternoon and evening, we'd come for a drive through the park, count the wildlife, go get some ice cream. My old stomping grounds. But never fished it. Nope. A lot of memories here. Back in the day, you'd see lots of wildlife too. You don't anymore. Ah. Uh, but not like you used to. No. Like, there you go. I'd love to snag this little fish. Looks like a spot tail shiner, honestly. Oh, there's a white fish. Hello. Not at all interested. Oh, here's one. It's coming in hot, coming in hot. Coming in hot. Oh, turn, going to turn. Come on. Come on. He's just doing laps around it. Like you can see its fins on this thing. Like that's crazy. Come on. Big, bigger fish too. You can tell by the mark on the screen. You'll be able to see in the video, but it's uh, almost a uh, square long. And each square is, is two feet. So that's putting that fish close to 24 inches. Not accurately, obviously, but no. it'll give you a gauge. Yeah. And that fish actually swam your direction, so hopefully you can see it on your camera. Oh, never mind, I lied. He's back and he's on. Get that juicer out. Not a nicer one. No? Just a fighter. Huh. Uh. Uh. We're all good. Won't bleed. Well, it wasn't very big, but <laughs> it almost hooked Darren. That well, that's why I didn't lean big. over the hole for a reason. Of course, it had to go up backwards. All right. Next. I think that must have been a different fish. <laughs> Love the name of that bubble. You do it. Buster. Yeah. Come on, come on. You got him. 
Yeah, I don't think it's a very big one. Oh, come get that sense, dude. Yeah, that's the way. Is it in it already? Yeah, there's one. There we go. That's the face. There we go. Just a little guy, probably 15 inches. Right there. Sweet. Well, it's a success. Today is a success. You want a nicer one? You got your drag loose. Can't tell. No, he's a little nicer. That's a nice fish, yeah. yeah. We got it snagged? Or is it just wrapped up? I can't tell. That's gonna be close to master. Think so? Oh, no. There we go, 21 inch whitefish. We're getting closer to the 22 inch mark, but that's a hard feed on Clear Lake. That's a beautiful fish. Wow. Alright, let's get him back. Let's get him back in the water, we'll put him back right here. Nice big squirrel. Waving goodbye. <laughs> Hopefully we'll catch that one next year and it'll be 22. 23. 23 maybe even. Okay, I oh, literally it came out of nowhere. I marked it. I should have clicked the button. And That's then I okay. brought it up. I like brought it up maybe a couple feet off bottom and all of a sudden I like fluttered it. And I saw it just come darting down from five feet high. That's weird. And I've never, so that's the first time I've seen that happen. <laughs> so I don't know. That was weird. That was weird. That's, that's what makes something like a live scope so cool. So I'm going to explain to you guys how I like to find spots on a clear lake. Clear lake obviously is a clear lake. Um, I go to Google Maps. Um, go to Google Maps and uh, go on to, what, what is it called again? Satellite. Satellite view, thank you. Um, so go on satellite view. And what I did is I found a point out on clear lake and went on satellite view and we just follow, followed it, followed our uh, icon until we got to it. And there you go, you can see the point and you can see our icon, we're right at the tip of the point. Can you see it? Yep. Okay, perfect. So that's all we did. Um, and if, if you look all over Clear Lake on Google Maps, you can see rock reefs, you can see a lot of things. So um, Google Maps is definitely a great tool to use while fishing and I use it all the time even on like pretty much every lake I'll check to see if I can see reefs on it so um, that's one tip that I can give to you guys for uh, finding spots. And that'll work even on very murky lakes like Lake Manitoba and Lake Winnipeg if you, if you look at certain spots. Yeah, that's perfect. It. Well that was actually a lot of fun. Huge thank you to Blake for showing me where to go, showing me the ropes, what to use. I'm definitely going to be coming back here again. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. More coming very soon.